This is the Blog Oklahoma bonus for September 9th, 2018. A few months ago, I had a client that was looking for a scheduling solution. What they basically wanted was a shared calendar that they could control who had access to what. They wanted to have different calendars for the office, employees, contractors, and other people they do business with. They also didn't want everyone to have to sign up for a service just to view the calendar. So we searched for various calendar options and we gave them a list of different software and services to go look at. One of those services we found I'm really impressed with. It's called Team Up Calendar. You can find it at www.teamup.com. Team Up Calendar is designed for groups. It's really simple to use. If you've used any calendar app before, you can easily use Team Up Calendar. All the calendar functions are there. Here's a brief description from their website. TeamUp simplifies how groups share plans, schedule events, and communicate statuses. Color code calendars for teams, jobs, projects, and bookable resources. Centrally managed with role-specific access permission. No accounts required. I'm going to repeat that last part. No accounts required. That's what really makes this service interesting. You access the calendar with a unique URL. That's it. <laughs> Now, as an administrator, when you first sign up for a calendar, you will need to add an email address. That way they can send you the unique URL or link for admin control of the calendar. As admin, you set up the calendar how you need it, its name, how you want the dates and times formatted, what views are available, and any sub-calendars for organization. Also, as part of the setup, you can configure the links that are used to access this calendar the rights control, if you will. So for an example, let's say you have two levels of people who need access, managers and technicians. Managers can view and edit for scheduling, and technicians can view but not edit. So you set up two different links, one for the managers and one for the technicians. You send them the appropriate link and they now have access to your calendar. No login required. Simple. You can even turn on iCalendar support, meaning people could then subscribe to your calendar with their own unique link with their favorite calendar app or service, like the calendar app on your phone, or Google Calendar, or even Microsoft Outlook. TeamUp Calendar has four different pricing levels. The one you're probably looking for, free, <laughs> with the free tier you get unlimited users, meaning as many people as you need to use it can use it. But you only get eight different sub-calendars and one year of historical data. Now, the other pricing levels are Plus at $8 a month, Premium at $20 a month, and Enterprise starting at $80 a month. With these paid levels, you get access to more sub-calendars, longer storage of historical data, and other tiered benefits. One major option to at least considering the plus tier is the ability to set a password for each calendar access. You can set a different password for each unique link you've created. That way you can secure the calendar even more than it already is. If you're a small organization and you need help scheduling, have a limited budget, and have people all over on various platforms, give TeamUp Calendar a try. Well, there you have it, a very quick introduction to Team Up Calendar. I hope you find it useful. You can get to Team Up Calendar at www.teamup.com. I'll have links to it and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the web ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. I'm happy to announce as of September 9th, 2018, Blog Oklahoma has 726 registered Oklahoma bloggers. <laughs>
Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get a hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's bonus episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.